In this video, I'll be showing you some glitches that break the game and others that are purely for fun. Here are 9 glitches in Minecraft 1.17. So for the first glitch that I'll be showing you, it will allow you to see through the lava. So you can either use shulker boxes or chains. Now the chains are a little bit better, but I'll show you first with the shulker boxes. If you place the shulkers above the lava, there's this little slit at the bottom that will allow you to see through the lava and see if there's anything good underneath. Now with the chains, it's a little different, you place it in the lava instead of above it. And if you just place them along, as you can see, you can see through and see if there's anything underneath the lava. So for this next glitch that I'll be showing you is a visual glitch and what you're going to need is a parrot and an elytra. So how it works is you just want to go up some stairs and you want to start flying on your elytra. And what will happen is if you go into third person, the parrot actually won't be on your shoulder. As you can see, he's in the air. And that's how this visual glitch works. So this next glitch that I'll be showing you is an x-ray glitch. And all you want to do is come to where you want the x-ray. And then you want to go down three blocks. Once you've gone down three blocks, place a block over the top of you. And then you want to go in third person. And then you want to go into the corner. And as you can see, you can actually x-ray and see all the cave systems and things like that. So for this next glitch that I'll be showing you, it'll allow you to destroy bedrock. So what you're going to need is one obsidian, one end crystal, some building blocks of your choice, it must be solid blocks, some slime blocks, some sticky pistons, and some levers. So once you've got all that, what you want to do is you want to come below the bedrock and go down three blocks. Then what you want to do is place a piece of obsidian underneath it, just like this and then get your end crystal and place it on top of the obsidian. Now destroy a block beside it and destroy the obsidian and then get your solid block of your choice and place it underneath. Then what you want to do is get your slime, place two blocks like this, then above it place your sticky piston and then activate it by putting a lever at the side of it. So now what you want to do is you want to destroy the blocks around the slime block so it doesn't lift anything up. So just make sure nothing's touching your solid block and the slime blocks as it will drag it up to. So this should be good. So now you can activate it again and it'll bring it up. Then what you want to do is you want to destroy one of the slime blocks. So destroy this one here. Then activate it again and bring it up one more. So it should look like that now. Now you can get rid of the piston and the lever and the slime block. So the next step is you want to get your sticky piston. And you want to miss a block and place it here, just like this, and make sure your sticky piston is facing the correct way. Then put a lever on the side of it and activate it. Then you want to bring it in, so just press the lever again. And as you can see, it brought the end crystal up here and destroyed the bedrock. So for this next glitch that I'll be showing you, it will allow you to fly on the fences. So how it works is you must be in the swimming animation when you touch the fences. And basically, when you're in the swimming animation, you can go along all these fences to the other end. So I'll show you how it works. So basically, you go into the water here. And then you go through this wee hole. And as you can see, you're in the swimming animation and you can go along the fences. And that's how this glitch works. So this next glitch that I'll be showing you is a villager bartering glitch. And what you're going to need is three building blocks of your choice, two trap doors, one pressure plate, one sticky piston, one redstone repeater, one redstone dust, one fletching table, one bed and one villager. So once you've got all the building materials, what you want to do first is you want to place down your three building blocks like this in a triangle shape. Then get your redstone repeater, place it here and have it all the way out. Then place your redstone dust and then connect it to a pressure plate. Then you want to come around the back here, place a sticky piston right here. And then you want to get your fletching table and place it in front. Then behind here, you want to place a bed. And then we want to place down our trap doors. And make sure you place your trap doors like I do. So it opens up this way. And then place your other one on top. Just like that. Now all you need to do is get your villager in here. So how this trading glitch works is as you can see in the villager, it wants 32 sticks for one emerald. However, when you keep trading with them, 
eventually what will happen is you'll get a cross through the sticks and emeralds trade, which means you can't do it anymore. Aww. With this glitch, it'll prevent him from doing that. So you can trade the sticks for emeralds as many times as you want. So how it works is you want to stand in the pressure plate and open up the villager's inventory as fast as you can, just like this. So as you can see, when I take the emerald, he doesn't level up. If he doesn't gain any XP, then it means you've done the glitch correctly. And all you can do now is just keep trading the sticks for emeralds. And this can work for any soon. But eventually, you'll get the cross. All you have to do is step off the pressure plate. Wait for him to get his roll back. And then you can quickly step on it again and open up his inventory. And as you can see, you can now do the trade again. And that's how this trading glitch works. So for this next glitch that I'll be showing you, it's not that useful. However, it's still a glitch nevertheless. So basically with your bone meal, usually when you right click grass, what will happen is it'll actually cost you one bone meal to grow it. However, with this glitch, as you can see, I just grew it and it didn't cost me a single piece of bone meal. And this works for fern as well. Although sometimes, for some reason, it actually does use a piece of bone meal. So as you can see, this one here cost me a piece, but this one didn't. So the glitch is a little bit inconsistent. But as you can see, so far it's not costing me anything. This fern here didn't cost me anything. So I don't know, it's just a little bit strange. That sometimes it'll make you pay one bone meal and sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see, most of the time it doesn't. So for this nice glitch, is a duplication glitch. And what you're going to need for this duplication glitch is two building blocks of your choice. One piece of dirt, two top snow, one button, and the flower that you want to duplicate can be any type of flower. So once you've got all that, what you want to do first is place down your two building blocks. Then you get your dart and you want to place it right here. Then what you want to do is you want to get your flower and you want to place it on top of the dart. Just like this. Now get your top snow and place it on top of the dart. Now get your button and place it in this back building block that I'm looking at here. Now as you can see when I place the button, it gets rid of the top snow. Destroy the dart. Now as you can see the button also gets destroyed and the flower is now floating. Get your top snow and you want to place it in this back building block here. And as you can see it duplicates and I'll show you they're not ghost blocks. So for this next glitch that I'll be showing you is a visual glitch. Now as you can see when I place down a fence and I put any type of animal on a lead and put it to the fence. As you can see it wraps around like this. However when you destroy the fence. The lead floats for a little minute, and then it gets destroyed. Now, if you do it with a wall, what will happen is when you attach it to the wall, it doesn't wrap around the wall, as you can see. However, when you destroy it, again, the lead will float for a little few seconds, and then it will destroy itself. And that's how this visual glitch works. I hope you found these bedrock glitches helpful, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions at all, just comment them down below and I'll do my best to reply to them. Thanks for watching.